Welcome everybody to another video on Smart Retail. Today we're going to expand upon the getting started video we had earlier where we logged on and just got a tour of Smart Retail. Today we're going to take a look at the user preference possibilities and basically customize our user profile to get the most out of Smart Retail. Now each user in your store or in your organization should do this to get the most out of Smart Retail, but saying that it's completely optional. All right, so let's get started. So I'm in Smart Retail, basically I've just logged on and I'm in the account settings. You can get to your account settings by just using the avatar icon at the top here and go into account. The first thing you'll see is your profile. Um, you'll see your name and what role you're configured to and if you want to change your password you can do that here um, one little nicety you can actually just choose an avatar that best represents you just like your facebook graphic you just browse for the file it's probably best to use a a um, square image and then position that across your face and then hit save um, you can see now your icon is at the top here you can actually upload a different image if you need to, or even use the remove option to, to clear it. Uh, the next tab is your personal details. Um, we can put in our date of birth here. You can use standard notation. Your gender, your email address. These are all optional settings, but ultimately when you Put in an email address, you can also have reports emailed to yourself and notifications sent to you. Um, we can save that. And then we go into preferences. This is where you set up how you want the system to behave under your profile. So one of the things here, we'll skip this menu navigation for a sec. Well, actually, let's not. So organizing your menu is there so you can customize what your my menu looks like um, we touched on this earlier in the previous getting started video where any of the menu that's part of smart retail can be added to your my menu so for example item maintenance we can hit the star here and that puts that menu into your my menu um, you can put individual things in your my menu or you can put in the whole tree of a menu by putting in the star there and you can see that shelf labels and all its sub menus are also in the in the list um, reports anything that's in this menu can be added to your my menu so what we can do here with your with your preferences is you can actually organize your my menu say for example you incorrectly or accidentally added something to your menu that you don't want or you don't want anymore you can come in here and actually see everything that's in your my menu um, the my menu is in the order that you've actually added things but for example if you wanted the department sales report up the top you can drag that up and put it up the very top and then when you hit save you can actually see now that your department sales report is up the top maybe you don't want to call it department sales report you can actually rename it to say department report And then hit save and that will actually remember that name to what you actually called it department report you can also in here add folders maybe you want to have a daily folder where you want to set up daily tasks um, you can also set up a monday folder a tuesday folder for example maybe you want to have a folder for all your orders you can do that as well so now that that favorite or that folder is there you can actually drag those menu options into that folder and then when you hit save click on the menu and now you're you have a daily folder as well you can move things out of menus you don't actually have to keep it in there so if you want to put that one in there and then in your daily folder put in your arrays you can do that as well Um, you can right click on them and actually delete them from your menu so they don't appear anymore. If you want to see how those changes affect or look in your menu, just save the menu first. If you're thinking, oh, actually, I wanted to add purchase orders in here and you can't see it, what you can do is you can just come into here, go into 
find the menu option that you want, say purchase orders, and then hit refresh, and you can see manage purchase orders is in there, and now you can move it into your menu wherever you want it to go. Save. You can also duplicate a menu, say you wanted a folder for every day of the week, you can set up your first day, and then you can right click and go duplicate, and then create a new menu, call it Monday, and it creates an exact copy of that menu. And then maybe you don't do any purchase orders on Monday, so you can click on that one and remove. That removes it, and hit save. If you completely stuff it up or you want to completely reset the menu, you can just right click this and go delete and this will actually clear all your menu and you can start it completely from scratch. So just remember this is a personal menu, personal to your user account only. So clearing it won't affect any other users. Um, you can also notice there's a my bookmarks up here. What we can do, things that are most commonly used by the user, you can actually add this to your bookmarks. Um, maybe we always do shelf labels, we always do printing. You can add those commonly used areas to your bookmarks. So now when we save and close, we can actually go show bookmarks here, save, and actually the menu up here will have your bookmarks, just like your little star in your browser. So I can open up item maintenance from here, for example and my print shelf labels. So every time you log on, no matter what machine you log on to, you'll actually see that star icon. Another one of the personalization things you can do in Smart Retail is set up home pages. So home pages allow you to, every time that you log on to Smart Retail, it will automatically open up those things so you don't have to do it manually. So what you do first is you open up the things that you want always to be open. Let's do, for example, manage purchase orders. Um, let's also include offer maintenance because I'm always doing offers. And let's also include item maintenance. Okay. So now those things I always want open. So if we open up our account details, we can hit set home page and then set pages. And this button here will actually open and find all the tabs that you have open. And then you can press OK. If you want to remove one, for example, you can actually hit delete here and it will remove them. And now you press OK. So this is the same framework as if you had favorites or home pages in your browser. So now when we hit save, those tabs will be automatically opened up. So if we just log out, log back in, can see it's opened up purchase orders, offer maintenance, and item maintenance. At any point, if you want to remove something from your from your home pages, you can just open up your account, go back into preferences, set pages, and maybe remove one. You can press OK. Additionally, there's some other preferences here around default labels and talkers. Um, if you're a, a big store and you have lots of printers in your organization, um, what you can do is you can set up your default printers. This is good for managers and um, supervisors that may have their own printers in their own offices, so you can set that. Um, additionally, we can actually set up toast notifications here. Um, those are those notifications we spoke about earlier in the getting started video. So for example, when certain things stop or fail, we can actually ask for a notification. So this is only a notification while you're in Smart Retail. If you also want an email, you can actually tick the email as well, and that will actually email you when this event happens. So that's quite handy. The last part of it is the maintenance. You can actually set up now that you can edit both the inclusive and exclusive GST amount. But if you're only interested in the inclusive amount, you can actually just choose which one you want to have access to. And then you hit save. Okay, this is where we'll leave this video. In the next video, we'll start to talk about some of the extra personalization you can get through use of smart goods in smart retail.